we're going to make steamed sponge pudding with this chico toffee. Yeah. And give it a bit of bling, some nutmeg. Butter the pudding basin, we're going to steam the pudding in. There's 140 grams of self raisin flour, and we're just going to sieve it through. What we're doing at every stage is trying to make the pudding nice and light. So, self raisin flour, add one teaspoon of baking powder. So, we've got 150 grams of caster sugar going in there, and we're going to cream in 85 grams of unsalted butter. Once you've creamed the butter and sugar, add the grated rind of one lemon and one lime. You will also need one whole grated nutmeg. How much nutmeg do we need? All of it, chef. All of it. 98% of nutmeg bought in this country is ready ground, but freshly grated nutmeg has better flavor and character. Next, add two whole eggs to the zesty buttery mix. Okay, what I need you to do is yes. sift in the flour for me. Sifting the flour for a second time helps keep the treacle pudding nice and light. And now for our nutmeg. And what we do is we break the toffee into nice pieces. So the toffee is going to melt inside. Some of it will melt, some of it will stay together. And you have ah. this unctuous toffee flavour oh. through the pudding. All right. If the mixture is sticking to the spoon, add a drop of milk. Just go for a dribble. Oh, yeah, very good. A little bit more. A spoonful. That'll do. Ah, there we go. Just what we need. It's falling off the spoon. What we need... Yep. A bit of golden syrup, chef, on the bottom of the floured bowl. Lovely dropping consistency as it just drops off your spoon. We need to double cover the bowl for steaming. First, I use a layer of greaseproof paper, which I pleat and attach with a strong rubber band. And then the same again with the tin foil. Okay, so, got a little tap, and then into a pan of boiling water. Plate first. It diffuses the heat so it doesn't crack the pudding basin or burn or anything. It stops that rattling noise. Well, that's good. So if you pop that on. Then fill the pan with water halfway up the bowl and leave it to steam for a good hour and a half. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, look at that. The moment has arrived. Shall we pour the custard? And now for a final sprinkling of freshly grated nutmeg. Awesome. That's an explosion of flavours. The nutmeg in there just lifts everything up. Beautiful stuff, sir. Success is yours. Thank you. I love it.